Hi again, Redland.farm, and I'm going to do a quick video on the, our secondary type of feed that we uh, feed for the chickens. Our fodder system, It's uh, everybody looks at me with a blank face when I say fodder, but it's uh, animal fodder. And uh, it's basically we sprout seed. Mainly we sprout barley, but uh, depending on the price of the grains and stuff, we might try wheat, or you can even sprout oats and peas. And uh, uh, a little, actually, I thought I found the organic source of rice, brown rice, up by Lake, Lake o Okeechobee. And uh, we drove all the way up there. They said it was organic, and I got there, and I just wanted to confirm, and it turns out they sell organic, but the seed they, they sell in bulk isn't organic. So we didn't go with that, but you can even sprout rice. It was, it's pretty big in Japan. But the main thing we sprout is organic uh, barley. And I'll show you our types right now real quick. We have two types that we sprout. This stuff from uh, Countryside Organics is really good. I can't get it anymore though. It's the SB151 barley. And we had a really good germination rate. And then I got like six bags of this stuff. This VNS spring barley, which is normally good. Uh, we also get barley from Welter Seed sometimes. But their shipping's like double. It's like over $200 extra for a ton from there. So even though they're cheaper, it doesn't even come out. It's usually a better deal to go to Countryside Organic. But this has not been sprouting good for us. So I don't recommend that, that right now. Actually, I want to do the video right now because we're getting ready to shut down the system. I need the... You got to really like shut it down and uh, power wash it and clean it up really good two or three times a, a year. And ideally, when my wife clears a shelf, she uh, sprays it with some vinegar, which is what we keep here. You scoop the, the germinated seed out, and then you spray it down with vinegar and scrub it with a brush, and that helps keep it clean, but she doesn't always do that every time, it looks like. And uh, so, yeah, barley is our secondary main type of feed. Eventually, we've got 300 coconuts, green Malaysian uh, dwarf, and we'll be able to harvest the coconut water and use the coconut meat, but that's two, two more years down the road. So mainly what we do is uh, our layer feed and our barley, and we're completely no GMOs on the farm, no artificial pesticides, no artificial fertilizers. Our chickens, they have no, uh, no vaccinations. No antibiotics, no hormones. And the important thing about being soy free, people ask, well, what's the big deal about being soy free? Is because there's a good portion of people that have, that believe they have egg allergies. They can't eat eggs, they think they're allergic to them. And what they're actually allergic to is the soy that's being fed in the animals because people who are in the health, they understand that what's your an what the animal you're gonna eat feeds on, that's gonna go into you. It builds up in their body tissue and then it be builds up in you. So there's people that think they're allergic to eggs, but they're actually allergic to the soy in the eggs. So if you can secure a reliable source of soy-free eggs, you might be able to cure your egg allergy by uh, eating that. And also all of our animals are on the pasture. So they get wild, wild greens, the grasses they want, the bugs and that kind of stuff. Little small critters that run into there. So that's an important fact of a healthy egg too. And the chicken's just healthier because it's outside, it can get some sunshine, it can get a dust bath when it wants to. But the barley, I'm actually gonna shut it down for a month just to clean it up and to tweak the system because we had pigs that were running around and the pigs got in there and it's just hard to get it all in balance. So I'm gonna redo the, the system here and uh, it's actually not so critical for us because our chickens are outside so they can get live uh, grass and stuff like that. But especially sprouting can really help people's eggs if they're cooped up in a pen where they don't get that much live, uh, live food because the layer feed, it's dormant. So when you feed a chicken layer feed, you're feeding it dead feed. It, it digests maybe a third of that, the available protein and the nutrients. But when uh, a seed germinate, it, it becomes alive. And you've got way more enzymes to help break down the food and uh, protein and the nutrients are much more available in it. So I've, I've seen three to four times the available nutrients available when you uh, sprout, sprout seed. 
So right now we're sprouting barley and our germination isn't too good. But for the chickens, we normally only sprout it three days and get a little bit of roots on it and a little bit of green. And we also feed it, uh, what we normally do is our top rack. We grow like six days and we feed that to our rabbits. The second rack down, we feed that to the pigs, a section. And then the bottom three uh, rows, we'll feed to the chickens. So we got three days, three rows. That's how we normally do it. And uh, Creve, just stay over there, buddy. We'll be right back with you, okay? Our, our little boy just woke up. So I'm gonna bring it in closer and I'm gonna show him the, the, the stuff. So this germination isn't very good because we got that seed, but uh, the chickens, they really like these little roots. And when you get about uh, a half an inch to an inch of green on it, they, they go crazy for it. And what we normally do is uh, we'll fill up two buckets for the morning and one for the afternoon. And the one in the afternoon will ferment. And actually they like it even better when it ferments a day. And it's even a healthier form for their digestion off of being lightly fermented. So we feed that to our chicks. We feed it to basically all the animals. The rabbits can only eat it when it's uh, tall grass, though. So let me show you what we do. Get out of here. What I'm going to have to do is I'll do a, this fall when I get this thing set up, perfected. We've only been using it for two years. I'm going to have to do a whole series of video on, um, on a fodder system. But what you do is bring that camera closer. You sprout, you uh, soak this, you soak the barley for 12 to 24 hours in a bucket with uh, holes in it so it drains. And this is the dry barley here, and this is that this is that uh, VNS that we didn't have any luck with. So you soak that for 12 to 24 hours, and then you spread it out on the rack. And three days later, we got an, it's it's good enough for the chickens. And it needs to be watered, ideally I think every two hours or so, but at least four to five times a day you need to have water running through the system. And I think that's one of the problems is the type of barley and I, I haven't had the automatic uh, water system set up because I was swapping it out and I don't think my wife has been as diligent watering it on schedule as she needs to so if it dries out it's gonna you know damage the seed but uh yeah right now I had it hooked up from the aquaponic system it's all integrated so that it was uh, running four to five times a day on a timer and I just recently put a float in. So then, let me show this pipe here. I'll just take that camera. The system will automatically, when it gets to a certain level, this pipe will shoot out the water and it runs the whole system. So the whole top will be watered good. And I'm just gonna have to go into more detail when uh, we, we'll do a series on the fodder system. But Isabel, come here and hold the camera for me. So I'm gonna wrap this up here because I don't want to. I want to keep these videos short. But uh, there's also people that they just have a system of buckets and they'll sprout fodder on a smaller basis and a bunch of system of, and a buckets. So they'll swap out one bucket from one day, and you could get a bucket full, you know, which should be like uh, 15, maybe 15, 20 pounds. Because what they say is the ideally when you sprout the fodder, if you wait six days, you can get six times the mass. From the like if you put in 20 pounds of seed you could get the equivalent of 120 pounds of feed however we haven't even got we haven't got close to that we've only got we haven't even got double so the price of barley right now it's not really efficient for us i got to secure a better source for organic barley but uh yes when you add sprouted grains in it definitely the animals really like it and it's um it's, it's definitely a benefit to their diet and the quality of the eggs so again, redland.farm, subscribe to the channel and we'll be pumping out one or two videos a week. That's the plan right now. So thank you for watching.